So I have been selling both part-time and full-time on eBay for about two years now, and I'm proud to say that my eBay store currently has zero negative feedbacks. However, if you're one of my subscribers that follows and pays attention to my eBay store, you would have seen that last week I had a buyer leave me negative feedback. And this has happened a few times over the last two years, but I've always been able to get these removed. So I thought I'd make a video for you guys today, taking you through the whole process about how I was able to get this negative feedback removed, as well as discuss my opinions on negative feedbacks in general. And bonus, I was out thrifting this morning and I found what I believe to be the coolest thrift store find of my entire reselling career. Stick around, you guys don't wanna miss this one. First of all, thank you so much for clicking on this video today. If you are a returning subscriber to the channel, welcome back, I missed you so much. But if this is the first video of mine that you are seeing, my name is Josh, I go by Harry Tornado here on YouTube and over on Instagram, and my full-time job is selling things on eBay and making YouTube videos about it. So if you find yourself interested in videos like thrifting and garage sales and Amazon overstock pallet stores and eBay videos like this one, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. So today's video is going to involve a lot of screenshots, so moved over here and I'll put the screenshots on this side of the screen over here. First of all, eBay doesn't notify you when you get a negative feedback. It just happens and you don't see it unless you go and check your feedback. And I personally don't check my feedback that often, so when I got it, I think I received the feedback three or four days before I actually saw it, and that just created like a, a panic mode in me. So eBay, if you're watching this, please give us a notification if somebody leaves us a neutral or negative feedback. I greatly appreciate it. I will say that one bad thing about getting negative feedback removed is that once it's removed, you can't see it anymore. And I totally forgot to take a screenshot of the actual message, but I copy and pasted the negative feedback message to the message that I sent to the buyer to ask her about it. So her negative feedback message read, item is very stale and date on container is expired, exclamation point, exclamation point, returning for a refund, end quote. Now, when I read this message, I thought she had maybe purchased some vitamins or some sort of supplements because I've been selling a few of those over the last couple months. But when I looked at the item that she was referring to, it was a brand new inbox, open box, new wave infrared oven that I picked up at Goodwill. I think I paid like 12 bucks for it and she bought it for like $90 or something like that. I'm like, it's an oven. It can't be stale and have an expiration date. So I was very, very confused. So this is the message that I sent to the buyer. I'll put it on the screen here. Quick read through. Hello, you purchased this item for me back in October and I see that you left negative feedback for it a few days ago. This is December now. So it was something that she purchased like two months ago. So I, I, anyway. Your comment read, item is very stale and date on container is expired, returning for a refund. The issue is that I never received a return request from you or any message at all. Also, since this is an oven and doesn't have an expiration date or the ability to be stale, I'm hoping that this feedback was left by mistake. Please let me know if you had any issues at all with this oven and if it would be possible for you to revise your feedback. Thanks. So even though I was very upset because obviously this is a mistake and a negative feedback can be a big deal in certain certain situations, but I tried not to let my anger and emotions show in the message. I was just like, hey, I'm pretty sure this is a mistake. This is why I think this is a mistake. What do you think? Do you disagree? Was the oven fine? Let me know. So don't jump down their throats because you need them to help you out right now, you know? As I awaited the response from this buyer, I went ahead and sent eBay for Business a message on Facebook. I will link their Facebook page in the description of this video. If you ever have any sort of issues regarding pretty much anything on eBay, you can send these people a message on Facebook. You give them your name, your email address associated with your eBay account and your zip code associated with your eBay account as well as the actual issue that you need help with and they usually get back to you in 24 to 48 hours and this is a message that I sent to them. It's important to note here that this message was sent Tuesday at 9.09 p.m. Just remember that and it read, hey exclamation point issue about a negative feedback here. At this point I would give them my personal information, my name, zip code, and email address for them to look at my account that way. Only one negative feedback on my account. Buyer bought the item back on October 21st and just left negative feedback this week. Again, it's currently December. She claimed that the item was stale and the date on the bottle had expired. She said she would be reaching out to return and get a full refund. The only problem is that this feedback was left on a new wave infrared oven, lol. This is not an item that expires or has the ability to be stale. She obviously mixed up her items when leaving feedback. I've messaged her and asked her to revise, but no response. She also never messaged me in the first 
first place to complain and also never opened a return case. I offer 30 day returns on this item. Please take a look and see if there's anything that can be done. This would be a very silly first negative feedback to have on my account after thousands of happy customers. Thanks for all you do, exclamation point. It's always important to thank customer service representatives. They have a very tough job. I would never ever do that job in a thousand years. More power to you, so don't yell at these people. It's not their fault, they're here to help. After you send a message like this to eBay for Business on Facebook, all you have to do is wait for them to respond. Again, it takes about 24 to 48 hours, depending on what they've got going on. And this time of year, I was probably gonna lean more towards the 48 hour window. So I didn't know who was gonna respond first, the customer that I sent the message to asking about the feedback or eBay, but turns out the customer was first. She responded the very next day and said, I am very sorry that feedback was not for your item. It was for toffee candy. I'm seeing several problems with eBay when I try to contact sellers. If there's a way to retract my comment, just let me know how and I'll be happy to remove it. Perfect. So at this point, I could have tried to explain to her how to go about revising her feedback, but I didn't want to make the customer do extra work and jump through all these hoops over a simple mistake. And because I had already messaged eBay for business about this situation already, I just decided to take a screenshot of the message the buyer sent me and then send that to eBay for business on Facebook as just kind of a supplemental piece of evidence <laughs> to support my case. The very next day, eBay for business responded to me on Facebook. So remember that the first message I sent to them was Tuesday at nine o'clock, and this is their first response at Thursday at 2.17 p.m. So not quite 48 hours, but it's been a while. But again, at this time of year, that's kind of what you expect. So they came back with, hey Josh, thank you for verifying your account. They're always gonna ask you to verify your account anyway, so if you put your name, email, and zip code in the first message, that just saves them a step later on, and they're more likely to probably help you out because you save them a whole step of their, their job. Upon checking the details, LOL, you are right, this is clearly the wrong item. Kudos to you, by the way, for all of the positive feedbacks and for providing great customer service to your buyer. We appreciate you. I have removed that feedback for you, so you are all set. Thank you for being a valued part of eBay, and happy holidays, Mona. Thanks, Mona. I appreciate you guys. Stay safe. You're welcome. Happy holidays, Mona. Thank you for contacting eBay today. Please take a few moments to rate your experience. What is your overall satisfaction with our social team? I always give them a five because these folks at eBay for Business have been the most helpful aspect of eBay that I've encountered over the course of two years selling both part-time and full-time. I almost said part-time. So now things are back to normal in terms of eBay feedback. I have 967 positive feedback in the last 12 months, one neutral and zero negative. And like I said, I have had probably four total negative feedbacks in the last two and a half years that I've been selling on eBay, but I've been able to get all of these negative feedbacks removed. eBay removed this one because it was just a simple misunderstanding, but in the past, my feedbacks have been removed because I refunded buyers. Buyers have purchased an item for me, and for whatever reason, they weren't happy with it. They didn't ask for a refund. They just left a negative feedback, and that was it. So when you go back to those situations, if you give the buyer a full refund, in all three of the situations prior to this one, I've given the buyers complete full refunds, let them keep the item and eBay will remove that negative feedback for me. I don't know if it works every time, but it's worked for me 100% of the time. All three occurrences where people have left negative feedback because of whatever reason, if you give them a full refund, eBay will usually take that negative feedback away. But now we have to think about, is negative feedback really that bad? Now, of course, it's cool to say you've sold thousands of things on eBay and you've never had a dissatisfied customer. That makes you look like a very professional seller on eBay and a very trustworthy person to buy from. But will one or two negative feedbacks really turn buyers away? Personally, if I'm buying something on eBay and the seller has at least a 90% positive feedback, I'm feeling pretty good about that transaction. However, I do look at the total number of transactions for that seller. If somebody has only sold 10 items but they have two negative feedbacks already, that's that's a little off-putting. I don't know if I'm gonna pull the trigger on that transaction, but if I'm buying something from a store with thousands and thousands of transactions and they have four, five, six, ten negative feedbacks out of two or three thousand, they're a pretty good seller. You know, you can't please everybody. Some customers are just gonna leave negative feedback no matter what you do, unfortunately. Other people wonder if having a negative feedback on your eBay account will affect your sales. And judging by some of my friends that are very high volume eBay sellers selling thousands and thousands of items per month, 
it's just the course of business that they're probably gonna get between 10 and 30 negative feedbacks per month, just because when you're doing that kind of volume, mistakes are more likely to happen and you just kinda refund and move on. So that doesn't mean they're a bad seller, that just means that they're selling so much stuff that of course they're gonna have more negative feedbacks than the average small fry seller like myself. So I don't personally think that having one or two negative feedbacks on your account is gonna hurt sales at all. As long as you have, an, again, a good number of transactions. One or two negative feedbacks, if you've only sold 10 items, that can hurt you. But once you sell 100 items or so, one or two negative feedbacks is not gonna hurt you, in my opinion. Real quick, I wanna show you guys my thrift find from this morning. I have been to thousands and thousands of thrift stores over the course of my life. And again, this item is probably the coolest thing I have ever found. I don't know if it's worth a ton of money, but when I found it, I could not wipe the smile off my face. I'm smiling now just thinking about it. Check it out. It was in the picture section, you know, the back of the Goodwill where all the, the picture frames are leaning up against the wall. And I saw this and I was like, huh, what? I wonder what that is. This is a brand new sealed life-size cutout of Steve Irwin, the Crocodile Hunter, dated 2001. It was $6.97. But the only question is now, do I open it and set it up in my office or do I leave it sealed? Because this is almost vintage, 2001. So next year, 2021, it'll technically be vintage. And I feel like this probably has some value. I couldn't really find any sold comps on eBay for Steve Irwin stand-up uh, life-size things, but couldn't leave it behind, man. $6.79 or 97 cents. I love it. I love it. Do I open it or do I leave it closed? Drop a comment on this video and let me know. Do I open this or do I store it in my, uh, in my attic or something and just let it go up in value? over the time. I love this so much. Again, I don't think it's worth a ton of money, but definitely, definitely one of the coolest, if not the coolest finds I've ever made. American hero, Austra Australian wor world, international hero, Steve Irwin. If you like this video at all, be sure to take two seconds and hit that thumbs up button down below. It's totally free. It really helps me and the channel out a ton. And if you haven't yet, again, click the subscribe button down below to watch more videos like this. I make videos all the time now, like two to three videos a week. Love you so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Oh.